Good morning, boys and girls, and everybody in the church. Nice to be able to to share some children's story. And today we are going to talk about a sloth, this cute animal. But sadly, we know that they are compared to lazy people or lazy things. But I'm going to tell you that it's not true. So, the sloth, they are from South America. So, when I was little, my grandfather had a greenhouse, and I remember they had a sloth in there. I don't know, for a couple months only, because they found in the Atlantic floor forest. And then I was able to touch the sloth and look at its face. It was very gentle, but it's not, it wasn't fluffy, it was like greenish. And because we were kids, um, they didn't let us carry the sloth because of those long claws. It's very dangerous. If they feel threatened, they might injure somebody. So, but it was an interesting um, experience. And I was searching for children's story. And a couple weeks ago, I saw that story from the children's devotion from Windows on God's World by James Tucker. And I learned a lot about that. And the sloth, it's a vegetarian. I was like, wow, they like to eat, especially the cecropia tree leaves. So they stay up in the tree all day, eating and hanging. Probably it's this way, eating and hanging there and i was curious to see how tall is that cecropia tree so that's the tree it's really really tall and because they're way tall up there they are very vulnerable because in brazil or south america they have the giant eagle it call it's called harpy eagle it's like a five times bigger than the, our regular eagles that we see around here. So I did some search and I, first, I found the picture, that harpy eagle. Look how scary it is, giant, giant, huge. And this is a monkey, but the size of the swath is about this size. So it's becoming a lunch or a dinner for this harpy eagle. That's very scary. And another time that the sloth is in danger, it's because the, the cities are growing so much. So their habitats are being injured. So they don't have enough place to go. So poor thing, they decide to cross the road. See? So when they're crossing the road, they are very slow. They are really fast when they are swimming. But when they're crossing, and when, when it's hot, it's really hot, the asphalt. And the cars, and all those things, so they are in danger also. So the moral of this story it is that I discovered that slow, it's not the same thing as lazy. Because that sloth has, um, it's famous for being lazy, but no, has to work all day long and provide for their babies and eat the whole life they if they don't do anything they won't survive so they are very very hard working they have to be hanging upside down up to the up on the tree and imagine if you stay upside down the tree <laughs> you get dizzy your blood goes all the flow all the way to your head so when we start thinking about, oh, this or that person is lazy, you have to rethink. You say, no, 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 they are slow. They have their own limitations. They are different. They are special. We have to encourage them, be kind, be patient. And there's a verse in the Bible, Hebrews 6, 12, on New King James Version, that will encourage us to remember that you do not become sluggish 
but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Hebrews 6, 12. So, and we're going to do a short prayer to finish our children's story. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity we have through the internet, through using printer and able to tell children's story even though I'm far away. And we learn a very important lesson today that we have to love and respect, be patient and encourage the people they are. We think they are slow, slower than we do things, but they are smart. They are doing their best and help us use be your servants and be your example and teach them that they are special and we help help them us to encourage them to do things in jesus name we pray amen thank you for listening bye bye